Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and I'm here today to bring guys a quick little, uh, well, it's not going to be quick, it's actually going to be a little bit of a long mission, but today's mission is going to be Operation Patriot. It's a Sluggers mission I created for the Sluggers Training Group, and we just played it as a group on Sunday. Uh, however, I designed it in such a way that there is a special way to actually take out a Patriot site that uh, belongs to the enemy. Let me just walk you through the situation in the mission. A drug production facility has been found in the city of Repo Steady, at Seti, and is causing problems for the local government. It seems the drug cartel is running this facility, uh, has managed to strengthen their production infrastructure as well as hire a mercenary group to assist them in their efforts. Unfortunately, this mercenary group happens to have a working SAM Patriot system, in addition to other air defense and armor assets. This is definitely not going to be easy. Uh, despite this, however, we believe we have found a weakness in their Patriot. There appears to be some issues powering their system. They have been forced to tap into the local power lines in order to keep the system running, which, mean, which will likely be their weakness. Our mission? Our task is to destroy the drug production facilities and infrastructure in order to cripple the cartel in control of the area. The Patriot system is not our primary objective, however, it will be quite the hurdle to deal with. Considering the mercenaries are relying on local power lines to run their SAM system, if we blow the power grid, we can probably knock it offline. Hopefully. Uh, there are two sets of power lines with a power station on each end. Destroying one end each should be enough to knock out the power. Alright, so normally I would also provide a set of screenshots that gives you uh, kind of data, uh, data of the area or recon photography. Though with sly editing, I'll probably add this in for YouTube so they can see it at a later day. But for now, I think this is good enough, because I already know the mission. So let's go ahead and get started. Just to explain the mission really quick, uh, basically our main objective is to destroy the targets that are indicated by the red square. That's going to be the communication tower there on the top left. The main production facilities, there are three of them down at the bottom. And then right between those two targets, there are going to be four FARP tents. Those are our main objectives. However, if you notice in the red triangles, there are quite a few Sam Patriot related units. Uh, that is something we do not want to deal with. So to help us along with uh, taking down that Sam Patriot, we have secondary objectives. As we can see here, there are a total of uh, four secondary objectives, as indicated by the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta sites. Uh, if you notice, there are power lines going from north to south or between Bravo and Delta, or east to west between Charlie and Alpha. Our goal is to, is to uh, destroy a total of two power sites, but they cannot be two power sites on the same line, otherwise we it's no good. So we basically have to destroy Bravo and Charlie, Charlie and Delta, Delta and Alpha, or Alpha and Bravo. In today's video, we are going to be destroying Alpha and Bravo. That will cut the power to the Sam Patriot site and deny them use of it. All right, here we go. That's Go ahead. Fuel. Take two sidearms. We will take two AGM 65G Mavericks. And then we will take <laughs> six EPU 16s with us. Because we will be hitting pretty big structure. Uh, I think that's overkill. Uh. I do want the bigger blast, but that's going to weigh me down a lot. So. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to need guns for this one. I'd probably not go with a gun pod if I want to rest on the frame. Um, let's just go with 12s. I'll take a gun with us just in case. Lightning pod. Yeah, we're just under the weight. Okay, cool. Request rearming. Copy. <laughs> right, all right, turning on the Harrier. Complete. 
Go to ground crew, turn on electric power. power. Copy. Ground power is now on. Alright, data cable is connected. Now we can line our INS with the sea carrier. With the Tarawa. The LHS. All right, now we're gonna chill for a bit. Waited a good old three minutes for the NS to align. Ugh. Wait, what's the nozzle rotation airspeed? Like 109? Yeah, it was 109. Uh, am I gonna reach 109 this distance? Eh, no biggie. We can make it. Yeah, okay, for that. Right, okay. Do this. On the pedals. Checking that. Anti skid is off and droop. Perfect. Lines are droop. Put in. Parking brake. And set this off. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, sorry. Disconnect that cable, please. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay. Nozzle position for 25. Bring down the engine temps. Get up to that marker. Okay, there we go. AFC set. Flaps up, water off, and nozzles forward. All right, cool. We're on our way. All right, so I have these waypoints set up so that they take us to, to each of the secondary objectives and the final waypoint, waypoint, waypoint five, is going to be the main target area with our production facilities that we have to destroy. But obviously first, that Patriot system needs to be dealt with. We're going to continue climbing until we reach about 20 to 25,000 feet. And we're also going to turn towards the target area. We're going to be good on fuel, I believe. We can always top off on the way, but I think we should be fine. Oh, which reminds me. Probably set this to bingo, well, let's say 24. Go so stop lever is cleared. And we are aligned with our first waypoint. Uh, a little more, come on. There we go. We are now aligned with our first waypoint. And we'll continue climbing. A little bit to the right still. All right, all set. All right, now to sit here for like freaking 30 minutes before we get there, all right? Uh, just under 30 minutes. That's fun. And we're at 25,000. And maintain course onto the target area. Let's see where that thing goes. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, nope, there it is. It's going away from me, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, it's going away from me. Okay, and one fence in. Lights off, master arm on, have it selected, program mode. Alright, looks ready to go. Let's go ahead and designate point one as a target. And let's go ahead and switch this to our part of the Alright. Got it.
13 minutes to target. By the time we are 10 minutes from target, the Maverick should be fitting. And we wait for more. Five more seconds. And just over really because it took me a little bit to fence in. And ready soon. And now. And now. Ready? Now. Yeah, there we go. Called it. Oh yeah. Now let's go ahead and free cage and see what we got. Nope, we can't see the coastline just yet. But we're still on our way. I think the guys during the mission took that valley right there and then went around the site. Probably flew in through here, came around this way, popped over this mountain, and then came like that through that valley. Probably popped over this mountain here and hit the Bravo site. That's somewhere right there, I think. So our plan is to hit this guy here, which is all the coastline this way, and I don't think we're going to have to worry about using the terrain masking here. We can probably just come around this way and hit it pretty quickly. It's better to uh, kill that SAM site fast than it is to uh, line up a new shot. And we can focus on the objective after that. Only use as much ammunition as needed. Alright, 40 miles out, 44 miles on. Almost there. To the, <laughs> the limit of what we could see catching up now. Here we go, there's the coastline. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Come in. You can see tiny little specks right at the center of the crosshair. Exactly what we need to hit. Alright, cool. Fortunately, we cannot hit it from way up here. Way up and over here. <laughs> we're going to continue heading on in until we're within about 10 miles and we'll line up another shot. Chances are we're going to be well baiting missiles by then. We're well into baiting missiles by then. But one more kill, quick look at Bites are off. Flaps are set to auto, while they're off. Flaps on, mass are on, airplane mode set, our mads are set. Using set, EGM is set for load. Protobular is on. Countermeasures are on. We are good to go. Let's do this. Oh boy. It's going to be toughy.
There we go. We set it so now it's no longer doing that. I think that's a bug. I'm not sure, but I'm going to see if I can use this video as a reference for that. So either I made it waste all its missiles or it just can't see me anymore. I want to bet I made it waste all of its missiles. So, with that in mind, and we are 20 miles out to target, let's get this arrow map. We're approaching the target area, one's there. Our mavericks are still selected. Getting close. Come on, get that lock. Don't get it for too long. Launch.
there we go. Yeah, that's a bug. The RWR keeps going off even though the radar source died. We continue climbing. Keep an eye out for any missile trails of sites that we've hit before. We're pretty far away from those. I'm going to continue climbing. Yeah. Disappear from our, our RWR. In the meantime, we'll continue climbing. We climb up to at least 25,000 just to remain safe. We'll start hitting our targets. And it's down. If you notice, the uh, radar source is frozen on my RWR. Down. It's at. There's that puff of little black smoke. You guys can't see it, but it's right there next to my crosshair. Alright, cool. Set. Let's continue climbing. Now let's start turning in. RD5 is armed, ready to go. Let's put a set. Um, that's a hotel, so I'm clear. Alright, let's do this. Let's turn in. I have to stay really high up. I don't want whatever is down there to be shooting at me. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, armor or AAA. And I doubt these insurgents would be uh, willing to put out yet another missile site away from their main area. Alright. Yes, the bits. Yep, there we go. And then we'll continue flying towards it until we find our targets. Unfortunately, our targets are actually static objects and they don't pop in until you get closer. Which is kind of dumb, it sucks, but eh, it's the nature of it. I know object, so that's where the Oso was. We successfully killed it. Somewhere there. Just like running wreckage that doesn't render unless we're close enough. But our main targets are going to be somewhere around these buildings, like along this road here. You can see that it's a road, but there we go. Somewhere along this road. We can't see them because they're static objects, but once they pop in, you know that's our target and where to hit. Let's go ahead and get lined up with that really quick. Because I know they're next to those warehouses that are up here, and warehouses are not our targets. But that area is. Come on, pop in. There they are. Good. Okay, cool. All set. We are currently 30 seconds out from targets at minus 23, rolling in from the west on the production facility that is closest to the water. And seconds now, one of the And hey boy. My laser. Oh, come on. Pull it down while it passes overhead. Come on. Soon and bam, good hit. That doesn't look like it did a lot of damage, but trust me, it will go down eventually. All right, so we're going to go ahead and extend out by about uh, let's say eight miles before we turn around. Then we'll hit this target next. Okay, the static objects are gone because I flew too far away. Nine miles out. Let's go ahead. 
pop in. There you go, they popped in. It really sucks that buildings that big pop in when you're eight and a half miles away. It's kind of funny how eight and a half miles is, uh, seems to be kind of a key number there. seconds. And the button. Okay. Uh, my laser. And climbing again. We need to get back up to about 25,000 feet just to stay safe. I'm still good. Passes, but we're gonna have to refuel. Let's lower the bingo down to 2000. We are definitely gonna have to conserve on fuel. Here we go, another hit in that building. I have one more building that's right here. It should be enough to take those buildings down. Yeah. Probably not. Hmm. All right, well, whatever. Let's extend out back out to about miles and we'll turn back around and hit this last building with another GB12. I feel like I should have brought GB16s then if that's the case. Damn it. Okay. Alright, 8.8 miles okay. Update. Let's see when they read here. 8.6 miles when they read here. Sometimes. Alright. to the right. Right a little bit. Find that one up. Go. Mostly mind up. Then pickle button and big boy. Oh, there you go, it did go down, sweet. Okay, so it is enough. But why isn't the first building down yet? Did I not get a good hit? Alright, the bomb should hit pretty soon. That's another good hit. Okay, I have three more G bulbs. I need to save one for communication building that's further in another direction. So far. It's somewhere over here. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna go for that guy next because I know this one's gonna go down in one hit. That's for damn sure. All right, we're gonna go for that one next. Gonna level out. It's over about 7.5 miles away, and we'll turn back in and go for that guy next. Got 24,000 pounds of fuel. We're going to have to think about heading home soon. Hoping to save the last GBU for the uh, tent so I don't have to dive in after them. Alright, there's the building. Now 30 seconds off the target, let's make sure we're lined up. Mostly lined up. Alright, 10 seconds out. And seconds. Pull button. And fire my laser. 
should go down pretty easily. And climb back up to 25. Three thousand pounds. We really need to turn back soon because we're not going to make it back. Good hit. Pretty soon. Come on. Good kill. All right. One more building. Okay. Go. Overshot a little bit. Okay, come back down. Okay, I'm gonna put the circle of the TGP in our pitch ladders. Okay, there we go. Got a good cave height. Hold it to the right side. Right. And then up again. The vertical line is now nice and center. Mostly. Right more. Just a little bit. And hold hit the button. And hit the table, whatever. And fire my laser. Keep the laser going on this point. Now let's move over to the right a little bit. Gotta hit somewhere around here. And our last targets are those far pins. Not have enough bombs for all four, but hopefully a center hit between the farp tents is enough to take them all down. We'll see. Oh man, have to be pretty precise. And hitting pretty soon. That we passed over. And catch. But that's enough. That is two square hits with GB 12s. Did go down pretty soon. Please go down. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on this. Because if that doesn't kill it, we're going to have to use a last GB-12 on it. And uh, try to snipe these spark pens with, uh, with our gun instead. We're at 2,000 pounds. Okay. Yeah, it's going to have to happen. Caution! Caution! Yeah, caution! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to return to 16,000. 1,600. Right, I'm just going to work for the spark pen. I'm just going to assume that thing dies. We're going to aim for this area in between and pray that's enough. Okay, turn in. Please just die. I'm 8.6 miles away from him. It's 7 and 6. There. <laughs> right. This does it. Right about there. We're nice and center. It's a little bit to the left, so let's move to the left. Reset. Perfect. Five seconds. Hold the button now. Put on the button. And big way. Fire my laser. Hopefully that does it. But once this bomb hits, we'll double check and make sure. I'm pretty sure it'll at least kill two barb tents. <laughs> so the top and bottom ones from our view right now. I don't know if that back will die, dude. Look at it is. Down there, can't see it. Please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. Yeah, two killed. Okay, that wasn't enough for the other two, but let's double check on that factory back here. Yes, it's dead. Okay, cool. Sweet. 
though I really don't want to do this, but that's uh <laughs> And if no return is not there yet, but I can do this in one gun run pass. Let's get I don't want it. Alright. Got yeah, this. Do this. Long range gun sniping. Here we go. Use the fluffer of flares. And keep our speed up. Well, actually, we have plenty of speed. All right, heading in. Then try sniping it from way out here because I'm pretty sure this is still calculating. Yes! Down? Yes! Oh, thank God. Okay. Keep flying up, keep flying up. All primary targets have been destroyed. Caution, caution, caution. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire moon turn is reached. Start flying back. Want to stick around and mop up the rest or RTB? Yeah, I think I'm gonna RTB. Ooh, that was that was close. All right, sweet. That totally worked out. I'll let the tanker know that we're on our way. Marco, Springfield, one one. Request rejoin. Come on, please. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Lights are on, master arms off, we're all set for a refuel. Currently a heading 324. I'm going to count on him turning around sometime soon. Once it starts counting down to 323, three, I'll start turning left. Yep, there we go, 323. Three. Turned around. We're going to try to keep him at heading 323. Three. He jumps down to 322, two, then we have to turn left even more. This looks about good enough here. We'll keep an eye on this heading course, and if that changes down to 322, two, we'll turn left even more. That way we are on an intercept course. Dude, so let's go ahead and turn even more, make sure we keep that 322 instead. Once it drops down to one minute away, we'll start diving. Three one seven. Let's go a little more to the left. Too much more. Too more. Are we passing over the river now. Yes, we are. There's the river. He's like right here. Okay, let's go ahead and start diving. Pull back on the throttle and begin looking for him. He's all the way down at like 10,000 feet though, so he's down there somewhere. There he is, found him. Crosshair is right on him. Wait. And we're on a good intercept course still. Because 317, just need to maintain 317 and continue diving at him. So the whole idea behind keeping them at heading 317 is if an object in the distance doesn't appear to be moving but is instead getting larger, chances are you're on a collision course. And that is kind of what you want when you're rejoining with a tanker. So if you keep him at heading 317, technically he's not moving from your perspective. 
and all you're doing really is just getting closer to it. And so it's the same concept. You are basically applying the the uh, kind of observations of a mid-air collision to rejoining with a tanker. And we're at 600 pounds of fuel. So we're gonna have to pop the air brake. All right, let's go ahead and start turning behind him. Hey, buddy. Pretty sure this is against all regulation, but that's okay. I need freaking fuel. Here we go. Pops, let's cruise. Pistol, master arm is off. Match airspeed. Probe is out. He is. Match speed with tanker, trim. Come on, remain trimmed. And good enough. Let's get behind it. 500 pounds of fuel, not too bad. Oh, there's Sochi. We could have just landed there. It's fine though. We want to land back at the Tarawa. Ready, free contact. Clear Here we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Slowly increase those RPMs. Little tap at a time. Want it just under the red light. Ignore the breakaway command. And contact. contact. Easy peasy. You're taking fuel. Alright, what do you think? We'll just fuel up to about 4,000 pounds and we should be good for landing at the terror one. And 4,000. Back off very slightly. Not too fast because you uh, risk damaging the probe or the uh, basket technically. Let's just back up. Knots at it. Backing up, backing up. And. Come on. Disconnect. Cool. Alright boys, let's head back to Terra. Okay, okay, let's set it to X-ray. And it's directly ahead, go figure. See you boys, have a good one. Okay. And our speed up. Want to drop below 350. The turn. Level out at 10,000 feet. Go down to 350. No slip.
break out. 1,000. And 350. Perfect. And overhead break. Minus <coughs> break. I break out. Bottle up. I break in. Uh, let's go down. Okay, below two feet. Nice. Landing gear. Landing Turn gear. Flaps down. We break in, I believe, and we will focus on keeping our speed up now. And throttle. All mode sets. Once we see the lip of the cure of the OHS, we'll turn back on. Pause it at 50. Lip, and then turn them back. Easy. Nose rest well steering. Zero turn this way, and then nozzles to turn three, water to landing. And nice and easy. And descending, back the nozzles to three. We can keep slowing down. That nose down now. Push the nozzles forward, that's very good. Ending for continue line level. By the time we reach the side of the tarot level, we want to be 120 feet off the floor, so the radar should read 120 feet. Figure our altimeter, I should think. 83 degrees for the nozzles, or 82 degrees on you. Forty-four thousand pounds of fuel. And we're almost at one hundred. Let's go ahead and maintain this altitude and just line ourselves up. And bring those nozzles up down. Man, that is not the best looking tarot right now. <laughs> Those shadows are not doing it justice. That's okay. There we go, that's much better. I'm moving ourselves over. Oh, we're going to the punch. Good, we're at 50 feet off the deck. Let's go ahead and start descending. Back up additional container. Bring her down. Perfect, mostly. We're a little bit to the right. Not too bad. Alright. Flaps, water off. Nozzles forward. And let's get out of here. Howdy boys, I'm back. Mission complete. In two hours time. Not even at Sochi Adler yet.
Not too shabby. Hey boys. One day you will be animated and you will no longer be lifeless. For now you will forever remain, well not forever, but you will temporarily be as dolls. Alright, and, and uh, hey, sweet, put our shutter down, parking brake on, glass up, off, Warning. and that's a backhand is off. Are off. Go ahead and open this canopy. Go. Whatever are off. Kind of measures off. Let's see y'all off. Go south. Lights off. Yes, off. Unfortunately, I don't have that button down, so I can't bring up the fuel lever. Fuel pumps off. Injection handle unarmed. I think that's it. All right, auto cut off. Generator off. Battery off. Here we go, guys. Successful solo playthrough of the Sluggers mission. Uh, Operation. Was again Operation um, Patriot. So anyways guys, that was a quick little run through of doing that solo so you guys can hopefully get some ideas on how I approach that mission so you hopefully you can learn from it and get better at DCS. So anyways guys, thank you all for watching and have a nice day.